I'm Dan Johnson. We're here at Sun and Fun, but no, not the Sun and Fun you expect. This is what they call festival, and this is a car and airplane show, and it's in December of 2020. So what do you know about that? We're at an air show in 2020 once again. Thank goodness. That's unbelievable, isn't it? So I'm talking with Scott Rose here, and Scott, tell me a little bit about what your role is with the airplane we're standing in front of, and then we'll talk about the airplane some. My role is I am the sales manager and business manager for Alto North America. Um, We're located out of Plant City, Florida, and we are the importer of the Alto 912 TG. And when we took it over, it had been out of the U.S. market for about three or four years. Yeah, several Uh, years. I've forgotten exactly. 2016, I believe, was the last one that was brought into the United States by the former company. I bought one, and we're just bringing it back into the market in the United States. The company is Direct Fly. Direct Fly. The airplane is Alto. Correct. This this is an actually themed aircraft, Dan. Um, very funny story. When I was trying to figure out the color that I wanted the airplane, I, I sat on the Rail Color site, uh, railcolor.com, and I just really couldn't pick out a nice color. I had like five or six. So I got really, really frustrated, and I shut the computer off. The next day, I just happened to open YouTube, and lo and behold, they were doing, there was a snippet of Ghostbusters. <laughs> so, ah, so that's the tie in the slime and the Ghostbusters. Uh, I'm yes, putting yes. it all together now in the slime monster or whatever they uh, called him. Slimer. I forgot. Slimer, was that his name on the, on the TV, yes. on the movie? Yes, okay. Slimer. Let's take it, uh, if you'll now describe the airplane in some more technical detail. Sure. We love to know the background of the stories, but sure. everybody wants to know nuts and bolts. Absolutely. So let's just start at the nose up here. This is a Kiev prop. It's a ground adjustable prop. We put the nine, the Rotax 912 ULS engine in it. Okay, so this um, is the carbureted one in this aircraft. This is aircraft. the carbureted, carbureted one, yes. Um, very fuel efficient for demo, demoing you know stuff like that because of the long distances yeah sure um they do offer the is model okay you can have or, it with the is as well yes yes okay so construction materials looks to me oh. like it's all metal is it it is an all it is mostly all metal a lot of people like metal because it's easy to get maintained absolutely you're gonna bang it sometime in a hanger or something god absolutely. forbid but it'll happen and the metal will be a fairly easy thing to fix absolutely composites quite a bit tougher absolutely absolutely all right so um uh, let's go. Let's step inside the airplane. Um, okay. It's a sliding canopy. Slides forward. You you can open this canopy on the ground. Um, it does have a slide lock. You can lock it all the way forward. Yeah. When this goes forward, this is quite a nice tight. Uh, don't block the camera there, but it's quite a nice. I mean, this almost looks like it's solid here. It, it so it's is. that good a seal. Yes. Does this lift a little bit, or no? Does it, it does not. Just by it going just, forward, it just slides. So it's there's a slight taper to the fuselage then yes, at that point. Yes, okay. very ever so slight, mm-hmm. ever so slight. It's a really nice. The a, a lot of detail I was noticing. There's a lot of a lot of nice attention to detail on the metal work. That very done. clean lines, Dan. Uh, it's obviously side by side seating. Tell me about the uh, controls that you have inside okay. the aircraft. It's a two joysticks. Okay. Um, it's got Dynon glass panel uh the hdx 10 okay um all the dynon rate the radio the transponder etc we have the ack elt in it um we have full uh two axis autopilot rudder pedals no toe brakes it is a center console piston brake okay um it has the hydraulic is it hydro yes Mm -hmm. hydraulic Mm -hmm. Um, your trim is electric trim. It is on the center console. Um, nose wheel steering then? Uh, yes. And nose pedals on both sides? Correct. Okay. Yes. And and there's one thing that the camera might be showing. There's an iPad sticking up here, and you've got that yes. mounted. How do, you, how do you have that positioned up there? It's a very nice mount. That is a universal mount. However, they had to modify it, the, the arm, the actual arm, to for it to not be up in center of your face oh okay uh, you know so they designed it and this mount here specifically the spring goes just a little farther than their normal atypical mount okay. so for them for for ram to do something like that was just amazing um yeah, no, it's a nice nice installation of it there, and of course you can take it out easily. You put yes. it in just so we could take some pictures of it. And so Absolutely. Forth. I also see you got the Mechaplex uh, type. Uh, 
We do. Um, we have the Mechaplex sliding vent windows also it's with a combination the vent and slide, right? Correct. Okay. We also added a backup uh, ASI or okay. airspeed indicator, uh, MGL Blaze. Uh, okay. Um, we like the MGL company too. I so. love MGL. New guys running that show now, Michigan Avionics. Michigan Avionics, uh, Are yes. selling the MGLs now. They used to be yes. out of California. I think they're still associated in some way. But, uh, At some point. New, new fellows have taken that over. Absolutely. The O'Connor father and son team, I believe they are. Yes, I, I believe Even so. They're doing a nice yep. job, it looks like, keeping people happy. So. Wet wing. Right here. Um, it takes 12.6 gallons. You can use Mo gas. You can use Av gas. 12.6 total or 12.6 per side. Per side. Okay, per so side. you got 25, 25, 25 gallons. 26 gallons. Okay, yeah. give you a good... A solid four hours Absolutely. with reserve. With reserve. Absolutely. And, uh, that's a nice um, fuel quantity size, though. Walk me through a sample flight briefly. Okay. Taxiing, it's a, it's, a, it's a jewel to taxi. I mean, it, it's straight. I mean, it, it, we, we know how sometimes, and I do it, I, I'm off center line or something. You point the nose at it, Dan, it goes there. Tracks I mean, well, there's, okay. oh, yes, it absolutely does. Uh, you get out onto the runner, you line up about 30, 32, 34 knots. It, pretty, start, it, wants, it wants to fly. Okay. Um, I normally rotate probably around 38 to 40 Is knots. That right? That's just, very slow, yeah. Yeah. Um, so you rotate at 30, call it 40. 40 knots. 40 knots, yeah. and now you're climbing up. Level off 2,500 feet. You're nose it over. Let and what, it what kind of cruise will you see then? Let's say on a calm day. On a, on a, on a calm, most ideal day to fly. Um, you're probably looking between 95 and 105 knots okay. cruise, right. um, and that's about five, about 5,000 to 5,100 RPM um, on the tack. Um, I could go from here around Florida and come back and not even need gas at, at that rate in ideal conditions. Uh, when you are uh, flying like that uh, at, at level altitude, how about cooling? How does that work out? It's talking about cooling issues, if you're taking it up north, direct fly, when they put the engine on, they have a little cow, a, uh, radiator cover that will give you extra heat if you uh, need Okay, it. so I was yeah. just going to say, we're here in Florida where it's warm. You can tell we're in shirt sleeves in December, but uh, if you're in Minnesota right now where I once lived, you would not be in shirt sleeves. You probably wouldn't even be outside, but you could still fly this airplane with Absolutely. that. With that Absolutely. With that, warm it up a little bit. Absolutely. Um, I did do a test. I took it up to about 9,500 feet where it's a little cooler. I pulled the heat. I had to shut the heat off after about five Is minutes. Is that right? Okay. Yes. It, it's so very, you get plenty of heat very, source oh, then yes, for the cabin Absolutely. Is comfortable. How much uh, baggage can you carry, assuming weight and balance allows you to put the maximum? What is that, a maximum you can put back there? The, after the seats a, I'm talking after, about. Oh, okay. After the seats, um, probably about uh, between 60 and 70 pounds. I mean. Right. Again, the, weight and balance. Right. The, taking into The aircraft weighs 743 pounds. 743. I was going to ask you that next. And the, env the, the back of the envelope is 1320. Where do we find you on the web? www.altonorthamerica.com or feel free to call us. Area code 813-541-3310. We'll get you whatever information, but there is a lot of information you can find and maybe answers the question on our website Very at, good. again, www.altonorthamerica.com. Very good, Scott. Thanks for joining us. You can find more about this airplane and lots of other airplanes in the affordable end of aviation. All that's on bydanjohnson.com. Thanks for joining Scott Rose and myself here at Sun and Fun Festival in December of 2020.